Are you Craig Cray for Tay Tay? Well, you'd better be. Otherwise, I'd get off Twitter if I were you. So a couple months back, I tweeted at Chris Caraba of Dashboard Confessional about how great of an idea it would be if he and Taylor Swift did a split 7-inch together. On the B side, he'd be covering I Wish You Would, and on the A side, Taylor Swift would be covering For You To Notice. Obviously, Taylor Swift gets top billing here, and it has to be a Dashboard song that A, sounds the most old school Taylor Swift, and B, makes dudes cry the most. Chris Caraba thinks he's too good to reply to me, but some dude got at me to say, hey, do you know there's an ultra rare Japan only release of Taylor Swift doing nothing but emo covers? I looked on Discogs, couldn't find it. eBay, couldn't find it. Looked on Wikipedia, couldn't find a listing. And I thought, all right, I just got trolled. But nope, it exists. And here it is. Taylor Swift, Born to Die, and it is an actually existing record. If somebody tells you that they like all music, yet can't instantly name their favorite Taylor Swift song, what they're actually saying is, I have no idea what music is. Is that just fancy sounds? Sadly, I can't play any of this for you, because not only will the YouTube police come after me, Taylor Swift will send some goons to get me, because she would rather you not hear this. And I don't get why, because this album, it has all of my favorite real emo on it. The very first track is American Football's Never Meant, and I can only describe her rendition as the big sad. The second track is Pedro the Lions, when they really get to know you, they will run. And you know, that's a good anthem for teenage girls, and TS really sells the chorus. Let's say you're back at your crib and you're kicking it with a normie, and she's like, ugh, I don't get all this screamo music you listen to. Like, what are they even screaming about? Instead of being all like, well, mostly love and heartbreak, but there's also songs about Jesus. You could be like, well, I could put on some Taylor Swift if you'd like. Now you're both happy. Third track is Cap and Jazz's Oh Messy Life. I really get why she picked that song in particular, because it has the most old school Taylor Swift lyrics of, there's nothing special about boys who smell like salami and boys who've never apologized. Those are actual lyrics to the song. Look it up, I swear. Real emo consists only of the original DC hardcore scene and every TS album before Reputation. Listen up, nerds. Taylor Swift has always been real emo. Y'all just never noticed. Just not you belong with me. That's the incel national anthem. Minerals Gloria, which I love, so I'm glad she didn't bastardize that. Further Seems Forever's The Moon Is Down, which is kind of a dashboard confessional track. The internet says that Chris Caraba is 5'8", but I stood next to Chris Caraba, and I'm 5'7", and I was significantly taller than him. So the moral of the story is, don't believe the internet. Just believe me. There are other songs on here, but you've probably never heard of Penfold, Jets Brazil, The Promise Ring, and other bands that only guys in their early 40s still get excited about. So who cares? This is what the actual record looks like. This is pretty cool, huh? There are only 500 of these in existence. 498 of them belong to Taylor Swift, this one is mine, and the other one belongs to Farmer Bro Martin Shkreli, who bought it as a joke only to taunt Taylor Swift fans on Twitter. I have to give this album an 11 out of 10, because it is a Taylor Swift album. Don't ever cross Taylor Swift fans on the internet. They will literally murder you. 4chan will dox you, Kami Twitter will cancel you, but Taylor Swift fans, they will literally knife you. If this video gets enough likes and Taylor Swift fans don't murder me for giving their queen such a bad review, then I will do an actual objective review on the new Lana Del Rey album. Speak now. Oh shit, they put a bomb in my house. I'm gonna die.